welcome to another Squadcast. I'm your host, Camille Salazar Hideaway, and joining me is Stephen Bari and Caboose, our host, of course, every week. Every week, we discuss the latest that's happening in the community, and we geek out together because guess what? We're all nerds. And we also invite a friend to geek out along with us. Caboose, don't look like you're not a nerd. You <laughs> are, okay? Just enjoy what? it. What Enjoy. gave you that impression? <laughs> I don't know. Was maybe all Spider-Man the Spider-Man Hot Toys <laughs> figure? Or... <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. That might be it. <laughs> maybe. Like I was saying, every week we invite a guest. And this week we have Aaliyah joining us from the Girls on Games podcast. Welcome. Thank you. Our- yes. Much How appreciated. How are you doing? I'm excellent. Well, considering the state of the world, I'm yes. good. <laughs> right. you know, surviving, you know, still here. That's we right. are still here. Yeah. And you have good taste as well in your shirt. We were mm-hmm. behind the scenes before we started. Uh, we were actually, well, two of us, Steve and myself, also planning to wear that shirt. We and should. then we're like, yeah. We should have like, done it. We, but it's it's not Wednesday. We only match on Wednesdays. Oh, Oh, uh, okay. That's yeah. the rule, right? That is, that is the rule. Yeah. And ch- chat, you know how it goes here. We want your opinions on everything that we're going to discuss this week. So please let your voice be heard in chat as well on our socials at Squad State on Twitter. If there's something clippable, funny, if you want to zoom into my lovely background and take a picture of that and send it to me. Well, I mean... Go for it. <laughs> this week we'll be discussing. I like how Leah's like, <laughs> she's just dying of laughter. Okay. <laughs> this week we'll be discussing uh, Resident Evil Showcase, gaming industry and player trends, Xbox Gold pricing friction and Game Pass perks, and Marvel's Avengers DLC state of the game and CP. Tw- oh, <laughs> I'm like CP 2077. <laughs> That's CP Project. Yeah, CP 24. Um, yeah, CP24. CP24. <laughs> My God. You guys can't do abbreviations in the show notes, okay? It confuses me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to kick things off with Resident Evil. Um, of course, the showcase happened the end of last week, and it's kind of odd for Resident Evil to have a showcase because they don't really have much to announce, and I kind of feel... That maybe this this could have been an email, everyone. This showcase mm. could have been an email. It could have just been a <laughs> bunch of trailers. Um, but they did it anyways. And you know what? They gave us some goods. We got a, a look at Resident Evil Village um, with some gameplay, a new trailer for it, as well as they announced that PlayStation 5 owners are able to play right now, if you haven't, Maiden, which is a demo for the game, similar to what Resident Evil Biohazard uh, had for um, their game where you were playing as the um, filming crew yeah. at the beginning of the game, which was really uh, mm-hmm. spooky. Um, now, on top of all of that, they've also announced that there's going to be a Resident Evil Reverse. Why? Why? I don't know. Why? But Resident Evil Reverse, uh, if you didn't get to catch the showcase, is a multiplayer experience um, which will be free to anybody who plays or purchases Village. Now, again, I'll go into more details about Reverse and your thoughts on Reverse once we get into the discussion, but the main question is why? I don't know. We'll discuss it. (laughs) We also found out that The Division 2 and Resident Evil are doing a crossover where you're going to actually be able to get some loot uh, in the theme of Resident Evil, so they have a That was the most confusing part of the showcase. (laughs) Outfit, which again, why? Well, we'll discuss it. <laughs> and we got uh, more teases to the Netflix movie, the animated movie, which I'm really excited about. Um, but we didn't really get much news. I'm wondering here, did you guys <laughs> catch the showcase? Do you think it was worth it? And what were your thoughts on the trailer, the demo, if you've played it? I know, Leah, you played the demo. Um, played and we don't want to go into spoiler verse, but uh, I want to get your thoughts on just the showcase first, and then we'll go into the demo. You want me to go first? Yeah, go right ahead. Oh, okay, <laughs> sounds great. So um, these showcases always seem to happen in the middle of the workday, mm-hmm. which is really hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> I took today off. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, uh, I didn't get to catch it live, but of course, reading all the stories, watching the trailers as they came out. But of course, as soon as the news dropped that there was going to be this demo available on PS5, and I've got my PS5 sitting out front, 
you know, just hollered at the hubby and said, hey, turn on the PlayStation and download this, please. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that night we decided to play Asterix. I am not Whoa. good at scary games. Oh, you played at night? <laughs> yeah. You have to. You have to, Camille. I'm, Big yeah. move. You got to, you know, put the mood lighting on the red, you know, Philips yeah. Hue kind of set in the mood, you know, and my husband and I passed the controller back and forth. He started, right. I finished it and uh, it was fun. God, that thing's gorgeous. Spooky as oh all God. heck, mm. but really beautiful. That engine. Yeah. Uh, Blows me away. Resident Evil, oh. yes. <laughs> a Resident Evil engine is just so good. Um, mm -hmm. Like, okay, if you have not played um, Resident Evil 7, Please mm -hmm. do. It yes. is, it is the a really good scary um, experience. If you were into Resident Evil before, they kind of pay homage to those roots, like the OG Resident Evil, but mm -hmm. then make it even like ten times spookier than what it was mm -hmm. uh, before, which is really good. Yeah. Unlike you, I I can't handle scares. I feel like Steve, you were all about you have to play at night. So are you yeah. into horror games? I love horror games. Um... I, I think they get like a bad rap and they're kind of like niche nowadays, especially like survival horror. But as soon as I heard that this demo was out, I was all in. Um, mm. And yeah, I, I had the uh, the Pulse 3D head, oh, no. headphones on, oh. lights off, like Leia was saying, like the the hue lights on, like I, I was in. Yeah. And nope. and it's spooky. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a real spooky time. I, I played Resident Evil 7. I started it with my brother. We did yeah. the, the lights off treatment. And then there yeah. was a bug lady and we were like, that we're no longer leaving the lights up. <laughs> yeah, that would do it. Yeah, I haven't played Maiden yet, though. It looks really cool. I'm very excited for Resident Evil 8 in general because I actually loved Resident Evil 7. Mainly, mm -hmm. maybe in the, mainly in part because of, you know, it, it filled the black hole in my heart that formed when PT didn't end up getting made. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Wait, but, wait, wait, were you just talking about a Kojima property right there? I was. Yeah, you were. Yeah, that wasn't Death Stranding. <laughs> The, okay. the bad game. We have um, this just <laughs> thing going back and forth, Leah, for your uh, info. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. On me for loving that game. Um, I love the walking sim. Um, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, two of them. Yeah, you're you're two wonderful. Of them. <laughs> what am I going to do? I um, mean, so we... <laughs> it's too good, though, because anything Kojima touches, you know that at least it's going to be a moment in time, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good yeah. or bad? Exactly. <laughs> so, so, so Aaron, did you feel like this was a moment in time um, when you played Biohazard? Resident Evil 7? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, it felt like, you know. Did uh, it make it, up for Silent Hill? I think so, a little bit of it, because, you know, they, they definitely, I don't know if people would agree, but it feels like they definitely went with that first person route because they saw the success of PT and how much of a phenomenon it was. And they were like, okay, hold on, let's try this out. Because Resident Evil was kind of mostly known for either the locked camera from the older games or the third person from when we mm -hmm. went from RE4 onward. Um, so it was a nice change of pace. Uh, I think it made it scarier because you were so like wired into the character you were playing as and all the things that were happening to the character were right in front of your face. Um, it wasn't something like you could peek around the corner with your camera, but not actually be looking around the corner yourself. Um, so I like that. I like that. The game was definitely... Uh, it was really good. So I'm I'm looking forward to RE8 and or yeah, Resident Evil Village, I guess. Village. Um, and I definitely want to try out Maiden. Mm -hmm. I want to play yeah. that demo. Well, okay. So I think you're looking forward to Resident Evil 8. Uh for a very um tall woman in the trailer, that's a lot of attention. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> right. I didn't want to say it, but <laughs> She's talking <laughs> that probably any day. Like, come on. I can't I can't pronounce their name, but like I'm here for it. <laughs> well, it's yeah. a really exciting part. Yes, they are they're for some reason Resident Evil 8 is gonna get a lot of people turned on, I think, when they're playing it because the villains, these they're witches, they're yeah. vampires. Vampire? Vampires. I don't know. There, there's something um, really spooky, but also really hot and sexy. Um, so I, I love this crossover of horror and then kind of confusing thoughts of whether I should be scared <laughs> that I'm in this environment or or scared that I'm not with them in the game because um, they're right. so hot. But uh, <laughs> can I can I join your team? Can I can I, I be in here too? Can we play it from that perspective now, please? I know. Yeah. Okay. It just turns into a Twilight game. We all want to be vampires. That's exactly. 
That's oh, what it man. Is um, they don't sparkle, by the way, if you guys no. really <laughs> can't see. Definitely have not. You, Camille, have you watched any of American Horror Story? Okay, so I hate horror. Well, I love horror. I hate horror. I hate being scared. Okay. Anyone love, who loves horror knows love exactly the, what you're talking about right I now. I love <laughs> the stories, the lore. So for me, Resident Evil, I love the lore of it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So I follow it. So I did not watch American Horror Story. So there's one season. I think it's a fifth season. It's Hotel. Oh, yeah. And I okay. am drawing connections. I can see that. Between them because of the idea of having this, like, vampire story, female yeah. lead. You yeah. know, kind of. I don't think it's the same time period, but uh, no, because I think that's more no. like a, a like fifties, sixties, something like that. Yeah, something but, like that, yeah. But yeah, I like I like that concept. Like, I'm not I'm not good with the type of scary where it's like human on human scary. You know, <laughs> like that it's, it's like psychological thriller stuff. I yeah. like more of the monster movies, so I think that's why I might gravitate towards this more so than any other Resident Evil game because I yeah I haven't played any of them to tell you the truth so, oh yeah. okay yeah yeah it's just it's never been my cup of tea so i was like hmm this is interesting i'm like if i can look at this new villain character the way that lady gaga is in uh, in, uh <laughs> in the hotel, hotel i'm yeah. like I i'm i'm oh okay. that's the mm, okay yeah i think i know okay just pop into my head usually when i see any trailer for anything horror i try to like turn off the tv throw my remote at the tv and just dip. <laughs> um so i remember the glimpse of her image but i don't yeah. remember the trailers for it so that's that's interesting but it's funny that you find the monster aspect appealing to you because this is now something that we're seeing resident evil go into more which is right. it's different when they did seven there was no real mentions of umbrella corp out in the open you would find documents that would mm -hmm. mention like albert wesker um you know as the z uh or t virus sorry and you would kind of like they would pay homage to that so mm -hmm. do you guys think this is a new route that the resident evil franchise is going because now we're getting into like real horror and like right. real monster lore um they're kind of teasing maybe ethan's a werewolf as well or become yep. a werewolf mm -hmm. um as you can see from like the posters for the game um do you think this is a smart move i well, I, I was yeah. i was turned off initially because like you camille I, I was i'm always really interested in the lore of resident evil like them establishing and building out this universe always really interesting to me but then seeing them kind of capitalize on werewolves and vampires i was like this isn't Resident Evil. Like, this isn't what I know and stuff like that. But then that being said, the demo completely stole me. Like, the way that they were able to conceptualize this atmosphere and the setting, it has me really intrigued. I'm still very curious of how this is all going to tie into Resident Evil and the virus and all that. But at the same time, I'm almost like, who cares at this point? <laughs> like, just really? let them. Yeah, like, at, at a certain point, I'm like, what about Leon? What about Chris? <laughs> no, no, don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm still very in tune with, like, the characters and stuff like that. But I'm also of the mind, like, what if this is just in some part of, like, a remote location where vampires and werewolves exist and mm. has nothing to do with the zombies? I'm okay with that as, like, being kind of like a side side story in this universe. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm cool with it because I think that uh the Resident Evil games like you know when you're going to like especially Resident Evil five and six mm -hmm. they were getting a little too focused oh, yeah. on like the big picture and the action um, and you know just Operation like, Raccoon City oh yeah like yeah. there was just there was a little too much and it kind of lost its way the game and the franchise lost its way a little bit and I think Resident Evil seven like Resident Evil seven really brought it back because yeah it was just a self-contained story you're stuck in this house trying to fight this family of I don't know what, <laughs> and <laughs> and so it and I thought it was scary in that way, and I think that Resident Evil Eight is doing that again, but also probably it, it looks like they're sprinkling in a little more of that Resident Evil flavor in there. Like mm -hmm. Chris Redfield's in the game, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. at the you finished RE Seven, of course. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. he shows so up. He shows up. Yeah. Right. Um, and then you find out through some of the documents you find that the T virus kind of landed in that small town in RE7. Mm. And this family is kind of showing some sort of effects mutation um, mm -hmm. that may or may not be related to the T virus. They're kind of like they throw in hints that this may be related, but they don't confirm anything, mm. um, which is really interesting because then. I don't know if you guys heard this in the trailer, but the tall maiden that could just, or the tall woman that could just step on all of us, she says, my brother couldn't handle you. 
Right. My brother failed or oh. to handle the after. So is Jack her brother? Hmm. No, because she says Heisenberg. That's her brother. So who the heck's Heisenberg? Like, is this related? Walter White. Yeah, but Walter White. You know? <laughs> Breaking Bad. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> So she does say Heisenberg's her brother because I yeah. I didn't hear her say Heisenberg's her brother. I heard her said Heisenberg when she's talking to the woman on the phone. I, I think it it's assumed See, that yeah Heisenberg's her brother because I yeah. when I heard my brother failed to like in a trailer. Why would they put that? Like if it's not trying to link to something, and then we Maybe. see we see um, Chris with the baby, right? Yeah. Um, so we know that these stories are linked, especially because they show um, Ethan's wife at the beginning. So right. we know that these stories are going to be linked. How? Mm -hmm. I don't know. No. Um, because, you know, there was two endings at RE7, but I think the one um, is where canon. is canon, right? Yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that kind of plays out and kind of does some fan service because at the heart of it, I don't think Resident Evil would be successful if it wasn't for that community that kind of stuck with it throughout its questionable times um and still finds love for like the og resident evil and we see that they're bringing mechanics back um from re4 like mm -hmm. so um you know how you have your inventory in your case um and the merchants back so so that's really uh cool to see just how that connection will play i'm not too sure i'm just gonna go to chat for a second here uh, MD says, I love Resident Evil. I broke down Resident Evil 7 demo um, with all the secrets, and I'm so res ready for Resident Evil 8. You always have mm -hmm. to play in the dark. Uh, I don't know about that. That's um, right. <laughs> that's right. That. Reverse I'm worried about because that makes me question if RE8 is short since Reverse is free. Um, that's a really free? good – it's free. Yeah, so it's free yeah. if you buy Resident Evil 8. Oh, okay. Uh, I, 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 I I'm not worried about that. I think that's a valid concern, but I don't think it. I, I'm, I'm along the same page with you because I don't think it's going to be a short uh, experience because RE or Reverse is included. Mm -hmm. I think Reverse is them trying to test out their multiplayer aspect. They did that in Operation Raccoon City. How can they make the world of Resident Evil um, multiplayer? We saw that with um, what was that multi player i can't remember they did like something else and now they have reverse which is like a, this multiplayer experience and you're able to play as uh chris uh jill and they're hinting as, at nemesis and all these other um random characters throughout the re universe mm -hmm. and the graphics it's like a stylized version of resident evil like cell shaded it's, exactly i'm not on board with this but i no. mean if we're able to get more free content and maybe this will lead to a better fleshed out um, experience, or maybe this continues as free to play and it's open for everybody, um, whether they buy the game or not later on. I think that would be cool. I just don't know why they continue doing this. I mean, they even, <laughs> uh, no, to be honest, I mean, they even released a multiplayer game for with alongside uh, the Resident Evil 3 remake. That went yeah, nowhere. Like, did anyone? What is it called again? Like, survive or whatever? Survive. Outbreak or something? Or outbreak. Outbreak. Yeah. Outbreak. Yeah. outbreak. yeah. It was not memorable. Yeah. Who oh, played I was that? Of Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> that Another one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it, it's just kind of weird that they keep putting all these resources into a multiplayer game, hoping it gains traction, almost as if, you know, there's just a team that doesn't have anything to really do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, <laughs> like, <laughs> let's try it again, I guess. But we got to put them on a project. We got to find. We got to find what makes them them. You know. Exactly. Um, when you think Resident Evil, I'm sorry, but I'm an OG RE fan, and the shooting mechanics suck. Okay, that's just the fact, and it's kind of become this like this. It's beloved because it sucks. If that makes sense, I think mm -hmm. the community likes it because it's so. Um, it, it just doesn't make sense when you look at shooting games now. So when they're trying to create a multiplayer experience. RE and shooters just don't, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, mingle. I, I think it's just, if it's a free to play thing, like no harm, you know, like as long as, you know, per what somebody was saying in the chat, as long as it doesn't take away from Resident right. Village and like RE8 is still a full experience that doesn't feel shortened because of reverse, yes. then like no harm, you know, a free to play a little multiplayer experience. Maybe it picks up some traction. Maybe it's a little fun, but. I doubt it. I don't think anybody who's into the Resident Evil franchise or would want to be getting into it is looking for a multiplayer experience. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I, yeah. So on that note, 
another um, shooter. Why division? Why the division? <laughs> yeah, what a weird pairing. Very weird. I, I'm down with it, though. I would much rather see this kind of stuff go on, like partnerships and collaborations, than yeah. them just invest time into making their own multiplayer, to be honest. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, it's just why why the division? I mean, like I'm I'm, I, I, I'm glad I know that like dozens of people will be very excited for the Resident <laughs> Evil uh, crossover <laughs> with the Division Two. But I, I, I guess the the only thing like that they have in common is that they deal with viruses. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and, and and it's funny that you bring that up though, Steve, know. because like that even when Camille mentioned earlier why bringing in werewolves and vampires and stuff, often in a lot of lore and things, it has something to do with a curse or a virus that that right. creature has. Like the read the living dead and the vampire is a virus that's attacked. Yeah. So yeah. I can kind of see the correlation between all of them, you know, if it's a mutation on a virus that, you know, kind of brought this all into to being. Sure. But yeah, it, it's, it just seems, seems off. off. Odd to, to the division of all the of all the ones they could have picked out to to, to partner with, but yeah, a game that's you know, two years see, old. Right? Wait and see. It, it with still tens has a of base. hundreds of people playing it. <laughs> I know. Does, yeah. it, does it have? Okay, I'm, I'm talking a lot of crap. Like, does it actually have like a a very active player base still? Like, is there? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I yeah, know they, like Ubisoft games, that support. usually happens. Yeah, that's that's fair. But I think Division specifically, there are like a a very set community there that continues to play continues to invest okay. time into it it is still weird like from an outsider perspective to see them go and collaborate with a two-year-old game granted mm -hmm. ubisoft still supporting it but it is even for me someone who plays the division and loved the division too i'm not thinking about the division anymore i'm i'm way past it i'm on to newer and better things so it's, it, it is still weird um, see, Ubisoft is like just branching out now into all different avenues they can get their hands yeah. on, right? Star Wars, Resident Evil. Like, what's next? It's like <laughs> so we could, we could do a betting game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I know. Uh, in chat, MD says the division would do a better job than Outbreak. Ooh, I said it there. Um, you know what? I think the vision the division would do well, as Steve was saying. That's probably a better collaboration than trying to do something on your own. Um, Baz and Bigley says maybe the virus slash military cell type thing. Um, maybe Activision would bite on a COD skin. I I don't want to see that ever. No, no Resident no, Evil. No, COD. Leon Kennedy or no, like Chris. No. I'm down for that. That would no. be cool. That would Give me be Leon cool. in Warzone. Yeah. No. Give me Leon in Warzone. That would be sick. Joe Valentine and then, in Warzone. And then That'd after and then after that, put Jax from Mortal Kombat in in Warzone. And let's, Sonya. Let's do that. And, and Sonya, I, let's do I, that. Are you turning for this into Fortnite now? That's yes. what I'm afraid of. Yes. That's, <laughs> why I would say no. That's why I would say no. You know what? If they were to do like their Halloween events again, like yeah. hunting and verdance, I would want to see that then. Okay. Maybe their skins go there. I don't want to see them appear as an operator because COD has their own, although no one plays the campaign, COD has their own campaign with their own characters like Pierce that are beloved. Um, those are the people I want to see as operators in COD. No yeah. one else. Give me Leon and Chris Redfield. Yeah, just imagine we squad up. We've got Jig Jigsaw. We've got Leatherface, Redfield, Valentine. Exactly. Quad, oh, quad drop. Exactly. Verdance, Chat, perfect. Here. No, no, no. This is not going to happen. I don't like it. Um, so, so it's like, imagine the gulag. <laughs> <laughs> they throw in some zombies in there. It's a good yeah. old Oh, my God. It, it actually, like, writes itself. There's a whole <laughs> zombie mode. mode yeah. With, like... It's perfect. Like Bring in we, Wesker. we literally no, we figured this out. Oh yes. my god! Activision. Okay, <laughs> yeah. We need to. Well, we need to sell it to Capcom because I feel like Capcom doesn't really know if they want Resident Evil to be full horror or still survival horror. Mm -hmm. um, they're still going the shooter aspect, and and that was really their their fall um, when you were doing like Ab Operation Raccoon City when they were kind of trying to find their footing after I would say four yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. um they didn't they didn't know if they should go more into that shooter mechanic and they found that kind of gold with seven and i think just continuing as being this horror series um with a survival element is the way to go because you know when i booted up maiden i was scared out of my mind um <laughs> terrified 
to the point that I played it in the day. I had all the lights on, although I have like a crap ton of windows in my house. So all the windows were open, all the lights were on. I did not even dare to play with headphones. I turned off my surround sound because I want to control what I'm hearing. And I still like managed to just get out of, there's like the cell, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I turned off the game. Because I usually play Resident Evil with a group of my friends. We we all come together and oh. we do this for a few weekends and we just kind of pass the controller to who's brave enough or who's not brave <laughs> enough and just watch everyone else freak out. And I watch the full game like this. This is this is what I do. This is what I these are my motions. And I was happy that they're like, yeah, you could do this in game. Um, but I, I don't <laughs> want to be the one having to control and not have it fully um, over my own face. So yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna play eight. I don't know how I'm gonna play the demo. Once this lockdown is over, I think that's the only way I'll play. So I, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, yes, I, I nah, really- No, you're gonna have to play it. You gotta no, play I'm on. too scared. I'm too scared. You, you can understand. do it. You, you don't understand, there's it. a closet right here and the door is like kind of halfway open. I know no one's in the closet, but just talking about Resident Evil now makes me think that someone's in this closet and I I'm mean, freaking out know? right now. Okay. You better go check. <laughs> How will they know? <laughs> Caboose. <laughs> don't even. Don't even. It's scary. Um, but of course, back to Resident Evil news. Of course, mm. all of this, the showcase was also in celebration of the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil, which is a huge milestone. Uh, mm. The franchise has been around forever and just so many great and scary moments and memories that we all share. And with that, they also gave us more um, news on the Netflix movie that's going to be coming out they they teased it more it's like one of these cgi uh movies that resident evil has been known to put these movies out every yeah. once in a while but this one's like with netflix so i feel like hopefully this one's going to be really um special going to have a bigger budget so it's not as cheesy as some of the other animated movies within the resident evil universe has been are you guys excited to watch a Resident Evil animated movie? Have you guys any, watched any of the previous ones? I haven't uh, watched any of the previous ones, but I'm looking forward to this one. Why not? Yeah, yeah I vaguely remember the previous ones just because I thought that they looked cool when I was younger and I was into mm -hmm. Resident Evil. Um, but I don't really remember them too well. This is pretty sweet, though. I mean, I'm glad that Netflix is doing something with Resident Evil. And uh, there seems to be some passion involved here. I hope it's good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Looks Sorry. Cool. Are you guys taking the movie, the animated movie, over the live action TV show? That's Isn't there a, a live action movie? No, it's I'm a live. So it's animated movie, but, live right. action TV show with Netflix. But isn't there a reboot movie there's as well? A, there's yeah, a movie I, happening. I think there's a reboot movie as well. But this is like there's a TV series. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. So which one would you guys would you guys be more for a TV show, or do you think that may kind of drag out the lore of Resident Evil too thinly? Um, like you know, we see Walking Dead. They're going on for how many seasons? Right. Um, and they kind of go a bit stale um, with the story and how they go according to what the original comic books were about. Yeah. So are you guys kind of nervous with the TV series? If we're not going 11 seasons and everyone cares so much about a guy with a crossbow who does nothing but mopes around and doesn't shower, whoa, 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 then like, whoa, whoa, whoa. all right, like, whoa, then I'll be okay with like the that. Resident Evil. This, this, this the worst <laughs> character on The Walking Dead. You don't want me to talk about the worst character on that show. Just because... He was in Death Stranding. Doesn't that's mean just not, that's, that's, that's on nothing him. to do with it. <laughs> not, but I'm so glad that he channeled that same lack of energy uh, in his Death Stranding performance Listen, that he, he does on The Walking Dead. He's got a lot of range. We'll, we'll yeah, see that. a lot look, of range of just one like the digs. <laughs> I know. They're, okay, look. Okay, there's some actors that have lots of range. They're great. There's other actors that. Are, Don't. It's their own, their own style, their own character. They're good at one thing. They they're really no, good at not, one thing. Have you seen him in Boondock Saints? Okay, okay. I'm just yeah. a little bit. He was really good until Merle died, and then they had nothing for him, like no ideas. He's um, got a dog. Well, but wow, uh, <laughs> the dog probably has more character. Let's be honest. Uh, oh, so uh, but like, if, if we're talking about a Resident Evil show, like I think the problem with The Walking Dead as a show was that it just drags on. Like right. the first couple yeah. of seasons were actually pretty solid. From there, it starts to drop off a little bit, but there's still some really good episodes. So Resident Evil, I think, can have that same effect. As long as it doesn't overstay its welcome, you can have something really good there. But I also think in general, 
that there should be more games adapted into shows. We're getting mm-hmm. that with The Last of Us on HBO. We're getting that with Resident Evil. You know, there was that Castlevania anime mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Like that stuff yeah. works because I think games are meant to be long form media. You know, they're not yeah. supposed to be something that's condensed into a two hour movie. Right. Mm. Yeah. So. And, I, and I, I think that's the thing when we're getting games that are like, you know, 25 hours plus 30 hours plus um, it's hard to put that in one uh, movie. That's why usually if a movie is successful as a video game, it's focusing on that one mission or, you know, sure. that one aspect of mm. the video game or something that was just mentioned um, within the video game. So I feel like for a movie, Resident Evil is usually good at focusing like a mission um, mm. for each animated movie. So I feel like we're going to get that. The TV series is what I'm nervous about. Sometimes you do have those uh, production companies, you know, where they're just like, let's put everything, let's do all the <laughs> fan service in yeah. this show that's 30 minutes long in six episodes, you know? like, <laughs> and, and that's that's just not going to work um, because it, it took them 25 years to produce this lore um, and to produce this world of Resident Evil as we know it. So, um, yeah, you know, I think if they just take their time, um, and this is a property that Capcom's very uh, protective of as well. Mm-hmm. Well, are they protective of? Because also Resident Evil is kind of in everything. The, this may go bad. Capcom may yeah. just be like, do whatever you want. Yeah, going back to your question, like whether or not I'm interested more in the animated movie or the TV series, animated movie way more, just based on the, the plot synopsis of this TV series. It doesn't sound that great to me, talking about like Wesker's kids as like... Oh, yeah adolescence yeah. and stuff like that I, i'm not really interested in that i don't really know what how much of, yeah how much of a story can be there uh, <laughs> maybe this animated movie is like a self-contained story where you know an hour and a half two hours that's all you need to tell like the full well-rounded story mm. so that that's that's all i got but uh yeah it's cool that netflix is doing more for uh video game properties i, I like that yeah all right um Vegas Gonza say, or Gonzo says Cyberpunk give me the Jackie Johnny and Panem that's movie. that movie would be perfect that'd be cool would it, maybe it would be glitchy as heck though that's for <laughs> sure <laughs> the movie that's comes out of buggy mess <laughs> oh my god that's really paying homage to Cyberpunk uh, but we'll get to more Cyberpunk news later down the road 